Hi, my name is Kristen Kaczynski, and today I'm going to talk about how to get up and running with J Vector Map. So, what is J Vector Maps? It's a JavaScript based plugin that adds interactive maps to any website. Some of the features of J Vector Maps include that they had a ton of available maps. Um, you can do particular countries, you can even do a world map. It looks great on any resolution. The map is vector based, so you can zoom in and out without losing any picture quality. It's interactive, so you can click and hover and custom label um, different areas of your map. One of the great things about JVector Map is that it has a very great documentation. It's very thorough and very easy to get up and running with just a little bit of jQuery, CSS, and HTML knowledge. Um, you can see the link right here. That um, the documentation is right here. Um, the API, you can view the different um, versions and all the parameters that you can use. It also has a really great um, guide for a quick start tutorial. So you can click on that here and see that they have the code lined up. It has a really great walkthrough on step-by-step -step how to get your map running. And they just use this specific example um, of the GDP. But you can kind of use this as a guide on how to apply the other parameters that are outlined in the API. So how do you get it installed? First, you need to download the necessary files. Uh, the first file that you need to download is jQuery. So you can see here, you can download jQuery directly from the website. Um, it's probably best just to use the compressed version of jQuery. We don't need to make any edits in here. Uh, the next uh, file you need to download is the latest version of J Vector Maps from the download page. You can see that over here. Um, you want to do the 1.2.2 version. And they have two different download options. You can, um, you can download only the important files or you could download the full sources. I prefer to download the full sources just because then I have all the options and I can grab whatever files I need out of there and not have to worry about missing files. Um, the final thing that you need to download is what map you want to use. So if uh, you go over here, you can see all the different options of maps that you can use, and it has a download button, and it also has the code that you need to do to render that map. Um, in my example today, I'm just going to show you how to do the world map, but you also have options to do specific countries and you can label these regions and the countries and then it looks like they even have two cities they have Chicago and New York all right so once you download the files the next thing you want to do is add your files to your website directory you can see here I took um, these three files the CSS and the jQuery J vector um, JS file are included in the zip. This final or this third file over here is the actual world map um, JavaScript file, and then the final one is my jQuery. So after you add the files to your directory, the next thing you want to do is link your files in the HTML file. So I started off with the CSS um, file right here, and then uh, your jQuery file needs to go first, followed by um, your jVector map file, and then your um, the map or country that you choose specifically. I'm using the world map here. That's in English. The next thing you need to do is add the starter code to the body of your main HTML file. Um, using the get it start it page. I took the base code there, which is basically just the function, and it calls that world map there, um, and added that to my file. So you can see a sample here. This is the one for the world map. So like I said, if you wanted to use a different map, you're going to want to go to that particular map page and take the starter code that it gives you. 
Um, the next thing you need to do is you can start adding style and customizing your map. You can use the JavaScript API that it has here with all the different parameters. It has really great documentation. And if you're getting a little bit confused, I find it best to go look at the examples that they have in tutorials to see how they implement each of these parameters as a guide. So this is my final HTML file put all together so you can see the links. I just put a little style in here since this is just an example. I didn't want to do an external style sheet. And then um, I have, I'm calling it here at the div, and then I have my script tag, which contains all the necessary information, calling the map, setting the background colors, setting um, my, I made pins on my map, and the locations that my pins are at. So I will show you what that actually looks like here. Um, so this is just a little screenshot of my map and we're gonna go look at a live preview of it. So this is the example I made. Um, you can see that I just did the world map. I chose to kept, keep it all in white, uh, but when you hover over it, the opacity is by default, it lowers over whatever you're hovering. And also by default, you can see um, what is the name of the country that you're hovering over. I added these pins to my map, um, which were added, here I'll show you the original code file. These pins, they're pulling um, by the coordinates here. So the longitude and latitude. So I put in the longitude and latitude and then I chose what I wanted the name to be. So you can see as I hover over it, it has the name of these different places right here. You can also change the color that your pins have and the stroke around the pin. This is just one example too. You don't need to use pins on these maps. You can color code it. Um, you can even do different regions, color code it if you use one of the different maps that is just of the countries. So you can see I added just a little fill in stroke here for those pin colors. I also use this um, zoom on scroll feature, I turn that to false. So when I zoom up and down using my mouse or scroll up and down using my mouse, it wasn't automatically zooming. In order to zoom, I have to just manually press these buttons, which is a great feature to add on a website, especially a longer one that you're scrolling. Um, it could cause it to where your user is scrolling the map a lot and can get kind of frustrating. So I think that's a great option um, is disabling that. Um, so that is my presentation on J vector map. I think it is a great plugin. It's, um, it's very easy to install just with a little knowledge. Um, I've used other jQuery plugins in the past, and this is definitely one of the easiest ones I've been able to install. And I love the variety of customizations that you can make with it.